Hello everybody, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today is my May Ipsy Plus Bag Try On Haul, whatever. I don't I don't even know what I call these. Um, the makeup review sesh with Mad. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. Follow all of my little stinky social media and also check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. To start things off, let's look at the little bag. It is this little pink floral bag. It reminds me of like Japanese cherry blossom season or something maybe. Um, yeah, no, it's cute, very springy. Uh, we're about to get in summer. It was like freezing here. It was like unbearably cold and then out of nowhere, it's like 80 degrees every single day. Um, so yeah, that's Ohio weather for you. It's a little intense. But anyways, enough a little of that chit chat. Let's read this. These are always goofy. Flower power, the brightest blooms come after the storm and now it's time to thrive. Go wild with color, flex your glowy skin know-how, and let your show-stopping beauty come alive. Five ways to grow your glow. Lavender, rose, chamomile, calendula, and hibiscus. Okay, these are like DIY things to make with different stinky flowers, I guess. Um, That's cool. And then the back says, we love mom's Mother's Day giveaway. Wow. Awesome, everybody. Yes, I do love my mom. She is a great woman. I'm just like out of it today. What's going on? I graduated, so I'm kind of just like, what do I do with my life now? <laughs> YouTube, okay. So guys, the first product we have today is a lotion, which is called Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream, Cactus and Pink Pepper. Oh, okay. Powered by Osmotor, Hava, Hava. <laughs> Dude, we're trying to read the name of this brand is giving me a stroke. Ahava. <laughs> Exclusive blend of minerals sourced from wondrous Dead Sea waters. Treat your thirsty hands to a drink of deep relief and nourishment with this luxurious cream. Blend with hydrating minerals infused with the uplifting, sorry, I read that wrong. Blended with hydrating min min minerals and infused with the uplifting aromatic combination of cactus and pink pepper, it gently and effectively softens rough skin as it wraps your hands in lasting ca caress. Anyways, spread calm and smoothness into your hands at a quiet moment any time of day. All right, chill out with that, okay? I never get a quiet moment. Approved for sensitive skin, allergy tested, and paraben free. All right, well, we're gonna put this on my hands and elbows because I really like making sure my elbows don't get all caressy. So let's open this up, see how it smells, what, what we're thinking. Oh, I took this off wrong. What the fuck is happening? Why do they wrap it like this? They like wrap, <laughs> they wrapped the outside of it, but then the seal goes under the cap. All right, whatever, let's open it. I'm gonna get a little zhuzh on my hands. It smells very floral, kind of rosy a little bit, a little bit of rosy. That feels good, it feels nice. Rubbing my hands. It smells wondrous and beautiful. And Ahava, whatever you are, you're doing great, sweetie. You're doing amazing. I'm gonna get the little excess on my on my bows. <laughs> my little elbows. My bows of L. I like when they give me lotions, cause I go through lotions like fucking water, bro. I use them all the damn time. You guys wanna know how obsessed I am with moisturizing? This is totally off topic, but I have to tell you what I did. I spent $50 at Target to get lip balms. So we have the EOS ones, which I looked up and apparently those are not really good for your lips, but I like the packaging, so it's fine. I also got this one and then I got these Vaseline dudes. And then I also got this other Vaseline limited edition one in pink bubbly. It just smells like a gigantic rose. I should totally do a vanity tour. Focus on me, camera. Focus, hello? Thanks, babe. Anyways, next what we have is a wrinkle target eye cream. So I don't know what the hell Ipsy is trying to say to me. I just got dark circles, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. It kind of runs in my family, and I'm not just saying that because I feel like anyone could say that. They'll be like, oh, it runs in my family. Yes, I don't get a lot of sleep. Yes, I probably don't have good diet habits, whatever habits, my entire life habits, but dark circles do run very, very, very strongly through my Slovak family because we're all fucking tired. You know, I don't have wrinkles though. 
um, Lifting Logic, Lift Derm 2000, 1%. Yo, bro, this looks like a fucking prescription you pick up at Walgreens. <laughs> okay, Wrinkle Reducing for Eyes, an advanced eye cream containing Lift Derm 1% and, and Adenosine, Adenosine, which helps reduce fine lines, repair under eye wrinkles, and reduce puffiness. Safe and easy to use on delicate skin around eyes. Okay, directions. Use fingertips to gently massage a small amount around the under eyes. Avoid direct contact with eyes. Shit, let's try this then. Logically skin. I don't know if y'all do this too with eye creams and it's probably bad, but I do it anyways. Uh, where you um, just smear it all around your eyes. I don't just put it under my eyes because I don't have that kind of time. I just like, okay, let's go. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. Even though it says don't have any direct contact with eyes, which I won't. I'm careful. I know how to close these. I know how to close these little eyeballs. It's a little kind of like light pink bottle with some blue accents. Okay, so let's open this up. <gasps> Matches my nails, girl. Okay, I'm gonna get about that amount. All right, we're gonna rip it in between my two middle fingers. We're gonna rub it on my eyes. Oh, it burns. Just kidding. It smells. It smells a little bit like Olive Garden. I don't know why. Like not the garlickiness of it, like a wine, like a nice cheap wine from Olive Garden, bro. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. So that was a little alarming. Oh, oh, my eyes. No more wrinkles. I probably pull on my skin so much. Like I'm so aggressive. Maddie, just take it easy, girl. All right, that's cool. We're gonna just like let that let that do its thing. We'll see how it looks when I have makeup on. Make sure it doesn't mess with the rest of my makeup, my eye makeup. I was chugging that cold brew a little too fast there, and now I have some indigestion. When do I not? If you look at any of my other videos, I always talk about like having like heartburn, acid reflux. It's probably because I down one of these literally every single day. They all know me at Starbucks, not not even kidding. I gotta put on my primers and foundation and I'll be back for the next product, which is a little concealer, which Ipsy never gives me concealer, so that's kind of brazy. I just realized I didn't wet my sponge, so I also gotta go do that, so I'll be back. Yes, mommy, piece of paper vibes. <laughs> Oh, okay guys, so the next product I have, and I use their powder, and their powder is like my favorite, uh, Complex Culture Let Up Concealer. Medium to full coverage, brightening, antioxidant concealer. Effortlessly conceal, hydrate, brighten, and blur under eye imperfections. Infused with hydrating ceramides, an antioxidant rich rosehip oil, vitamin C, and sacred lotus flower extract to protect against environmental aggressors. So I got it in shade M. 300. I have never got really any skin stuff besides powder from Ipsy. Like, I've never gotten any foundation or concealer. The only thing I really have gotten is like probably BB cream. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is I don't know how close this will match to my skin tone. So we're gonna put a little dab of it under my eye and see because this looks really dark because I think last time I just did my Ipsy quiz my skin tone was really tan because I get like really really tan in the summer and why isn't this focusing girl? She's a little dark. That's dark bro. That's dark. That's dark. That's dark. I don't know what to do. Should I just do it? Should I just apply it and like see what I look like? Let's do it. Come on. We're here to test things out. This is my bad. I should have adjusted it for me being pale as shit in the winter and springtime because usually around summer and fall I'm like, oh my god. And this is kind of a weird applicator. It's like really hard and like small so it's like tough to get like absolutely any product on my face because it's just like so strange <laughs> but we're gonna try to judge it based off of the product and not my fuck up okay so let's put that on and take my little sponge and see what happens yeah i mean it's not really doing any brightening but that's just because it's kind of like so close to my skin tone. It seems to work pretty well. The applicator, the application process was terrible. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, there's not one thing I liked about it. Like, it had a little, like, what's it called? Like, a little doe foot applicator. That just does not work. It was not working. It was too stiff. I'm worried it was gonna take off my foundation. But it looks, like, pretty good for it not being even remotely close to my regular consistency. Color. I mean, we'll do it. We'll go with it. 
<laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize and make me look like a raccoon because that would be kind of goofy, wouldn't it? That, that would be really goofy, wouldn't it? So I have um, a, a couple other things to do. I have to put on some cream contour powder, my eyebrows, and some eyeshadow. Um, and then I'll come back because we have a new eyeliner. And you know me and eyeliner. We are pretty close. We have, we have a good relationship together. So yeah, I'm gonna go do all of that other stuff and I'll be back for that, okay? All right, bye. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, guys. I think my eyeshadow is done, maybe. I think it looks cute. What do y'all think? This little blue smoky thing going on, you know? <sighs> all right. So we have a new eyeliner here. It is by one size Point Made 24 Hour Gel Eyeliner Pencil. 24 hour waterproof and ultra pigmented and vegan. Nice guys. Okay, so this is in bodacious black. And I'll tell you what, I love the word bodacious. It's one of my favorites, actually one of my personal favorites. So let's open this up and see what she looks like. So what I was gonna do is put this on my waterline and on my top lash line and smudge it out maybe wouldn't that be cute make this look a little more intense so yeah I'm gonna try to do that whenever I do eyeliner or put anything in my waterline it's kind of hard to do it on camera cuz I gotta lean in like this doing eyeliner on your waterline this is giving me some serious like early 2000s kind of vibes just like this without like smudging it or anything. This is going on really nicely though. So now we're gonna put it on my top lash line. Like that, just very sloppily because I'm gonna try to smudge it. So now we're gonna take this one by um, MOTD, Pencil Me In. That was in another video. And I'm just gonna try to like smudge this out, you know? It's not smudging, bro. Well, what are we gonna do, Maddie? What are we gonna do? First of all, we're gonna take this eyeliner and clean it up on my top lash line so it doesn't look like this. I'll tell you what though, this formula is great. Homie is not budging even a little bit. All right, that looks a little better. I wanted to do something different with this waterline, with this waterline, with this eyeliner, but this is kind of what I'm left with right now because it is not a smudging one. It is very great though. It is great formula, look at that. I'm gonna put on like my lashes and some other stuff and then we have one more product after this. <clears throat> Let this be a lesson to you bitches. If you mess up miserably on your eyeliner, put some ginormous, some fucking gigando lashes on and you'll be okay. I can promise you that. All right guys, so we have one more product. We have the Pure Lease Blush Glow BB Cheek Color Vitamin E Hyaluronic Acid Creamy Lightweight Buildable Youthful Glow for All Skin Types Beauty Through Asian Wisdom A lightweight cream blush that leaves cheeks with a natural flush glow featuring our exclusive Asian herb extract complex Goji and Hawthorne Berry Helps improve skin's elasticity to create beautiful complexion Benefits Vitamin E nourishes skin Hyaluronic acid leaves skin dewy and hydrated, perfect for day and night wear alone or with makeup. The ritual applies small dot to cheeks and blend outward wear alone or on top of a BB or CC cream. Always free of parabens, mineral oils, and animal cruelty. Sick, guys. Okay, so let's crank this open. We got a little blush, a little liquid blush. So let's see what this looks like. Let me get Miss Ma'am out of here. Okay, we have this. It's just a little, little bottle. So we're just gonna use my thinners. So let me make sure there's nothing on them. And we're gonna just like put a little dot on and blend outward like they said. I like having my blush up high though. So we're gonna put it right there. Nothing's there. So why do they give me an insanely dark concealer, but then an over the top light blush? All right. It's kind of showing up. I think I have to put a lot down though. <laughs> and it's also kind of making my foundation under it look a little weird. But maybe I'm tripping. Can I try it with a sponge and see what happens? I don't know about this. Maybe by itself. I don't know. I need more on this side. I'm putting so much on. 
I mean, it's kind of there. Um, it says it's buildable, which I can kind of see that. The more I put on, the more it seems to be showing up, which is nice. I don't know. I don't know how much I would use this. Maybe if I wanted a little brightening up when I'm like, you know, when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I could see myself wearing this. But like with my makeup, it would just be so much easier to get my normal blush I use and just go <laughs> with a brush in it and just quickly put it on. Cause like, it's also not like super, like it's not like make it my day, you know? It's not like, wow, like this is amazing. Like I would go through the trouble to put this on every day. Like it's not really like that. So now we're gonna put on a little bit of highlighter and then I'll give my final thought. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of lip balm. Okay, final thoughts about everything. So the first thing I used was this lotion. Everything's feeling great. I like how it smelled. A very nice floral one. Uh, I know it's just a hand cream, but knowing me, I'll probably just use this everywhere because it's a lot, first of all. That's just probably what I'm gonna do, but I like the packaging too. It's a pretty color. I never have much to say about lotions because nine times out of 10, they're gonna do their job. And then, <coughs> We have this uh, Logically Skin Wrinkle Target Eye Cream. Um, this was nice. It doesn't seem like any part of my eye makeup is creasing or acting weird with it. It felt nice putting it on. Um, so yeah, that's all I need to see. I don't need to see if it actually works or anything. I'm purely just a, if it feels nice on my skin and it doesn't kill me, then I like it type of bitch. And then next we had the concealer from Complex Culture. And I'm a little upset because I like their powder. Their powder is amazing. Um, so I figured I was gonna like this a lot, but the applicator is fucking wag, bro. Look at this. See how it has like a very weird shape to it and it's very stiff. It's not fluffy at all or anything. So it was just kind of digging into my skin but if I went too light, I wasn't getting any product on my skin. I don't know, it was too dark. That's my bad. I need to go fix my Ipsy right now and change my skin tone to very fair now. It kind of creased a little weird when I was starting to put on my eyeshadow, but it went away because now I have eyeshadow and huge lashes covering it. That was a little strange. I usually just use shape tape. Um, so compared to that, shape tape is way better in my personal opinion. And then after that, we had this eyeliner, which is great, very pigmented and it's amazing and it's staying in my waterline, but it does not smudge, so do not get this eyeliner get this gel eyeliner thinking it will do that because it does not um but it's very great i love having very dark and smooth eyeliners for my waterline because i hate when eyeliners are crusty or hard or very pencil like and when i try putting it in my waterline and it hurts um that's definitely not something i enjoy so yes this was good for what it's supposed to do but you can't really you know get all artistic with it you know you gotta just use it for eyeliner this was what by oh one size and then our last product was this blush which you know is like it's good like I, I can see I have like a pinky rosiness to my face but it was just kind of like it looked like a little bit like it was taken off my foundation first of all and then it was just like I had to keep layering it I think I put like three or four dots on my cheeks and dabbed it on put another dot dabbed it on that like I'd rather just use a uh, tart blushes honestly at that rate because those ones are super pigmented but they work really well it was a pretty crazy ipsy bag about half the things i was pretty iffy about the other half were pretty good or kind of like no opinion but like you know that's what we're here for we're here to try things have a crazy time drink some coffee enjoy each other's company you know and my face ended up looking pretty good anyways yeah what you guys think i know i gotta wax my eyebrows i'm sorry about that but I was pretty scared about the eyeliner thing, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, shit, I ruined it, but we got big lashes, so it's good. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go and pee. I have to pee really bad. And I will see you next week with another video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other fun stuff. And I will see you guys then. Have a great week. Um, stay out of trouble. And eat your vegetables. All right, bye guys.